Hello to all you wonderful weirdos out there. I'm a random dark thing. Welcome back to this playthrough experience that I am bringing to you here in the form of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Where we last left off, I was swimming in this channel. And now, going right into the mini boss. Uh, which. Honestly, kind of creeps me out a little bit. Um. You're gonna have to utilize the right stick and then look above. <laughs> it's not as disgusting as that bug, but it certainly has a personality. And the music definitely exudes that personality. The little, like, bump bump. And then it's gonna try and like... Yeah. This is like... This is one of the silliest... <laughs> things this dark game offers, and I really don't know how I feel about it. On one hand, I'm... I'm thoroughly amused for just how like... Gargantuan... And silly looking this thing is. But at the same time... Like, I, I still get a little bit, um, conf confuzzled by the purpose of this whole thing. Especially since I just, I just need to, like, make sure that I'm not enveloped by the shadow. And then, I just attack its tongue repeatedly. There, there's nothing really too complicated about this mid-boss. Like, it's really easy to figure out. I would say, for the most part, it's... Like, the concept itself is just, like, incredibly easy to deal with. I just gotta make sure that I'm not... And make sure I'm not dropping my guard too bad. And make sure that I'm utilizing whatever I have available to, um... Oh, crap! Sometimes you get some close calls like that. But yeah, I mean, all things considered, not a difficult mid-boss. <laughs> and all things considered, you get a really decent item out of it. Probably one of my favorite items in the entire Zelda series in general. Like, it's a series staple. It's been known by many names. Uh, this is just a claw form of of the whole hook shot, long shot, this is a claw shot. Um, it basically does the same thing that it's it's done throughout like the entirety that it's existed in the series. You basically take it, you fire it up, and you aim for a a designated target. But for some reason, I can't adjust it. I had to like make sure like I'm right in. the position that I want to, and then fire. And... But, yeah, it's... This item is, is a lot of fun. This item is a lot of fun. And, uh, the main reason why you're able to even finish this, uh, dungeon in the first place, the claw shot is going to be absolutely necessary, especially when you want to, like, um, do that. But, yeah, so now with that finally out of the way, getting the claw shot, the second half of the dungeon is officially accessible to the player. All things considered, this isn't the most creative of the dungeons. I say that as I... I was just about to get hit by by a rampaging uh, armadillo monster, but yeah, what can you do? I say overall, again, like this dungeon is a lot more fun to walk around than the Ocarina of Time Water Temple, as I've been stating before. Because again, so far I'm not running into 
too many frustrations with this dungeon. I get tripped up a little bit, yes, sure, but that's because I have not played this game in a while, and so trying to figure out just the various little things that are available, making sure that I am somewhat aware of my surroundings. Like, that, that alone, if you have that, you're gonna do just fine with Twilight Princess. If you can get your hands on a copy, because honestly, I just... This is... It was probably not the best idea to release this on a console that was not exactly the most popular to release and right at the end of the console's life cycle um, I, I certainly wish that I could have um, I wonder can I reach this from here by chance oh yeah I can awesome I didn't want to go to the chandelier because oh yeah I could also like lower yourself up and down I love that little feature there because right up here in the chandelier I think is a piece of hearts yes piece of heart I only need one more and I I get another heart container which is fantastic fantastic I'm glad I remember that was there and thankfully water prevents fall damage so nope now this part of the dungeon is officially accessible so basically manipulating the water you want to activate the water in a similar way as the previous um, previous side except it's it's a little bit more complicated because it's um well, it's, it's a slightly different layout and it's a little bit more treacherous thankfully because of the claw shots uh, these these guys are maybe just a little bit the keys are not going to be as much of an issue considering you can just like the Z target and shoot them down with having to waste arrows. That's a good part. And the way that this is laid out at the moment. You can shoot them and lower it down to make sure that, you know, you're still fine. Oh, nice bombs. Okay. I'm going to deploy my shield real quick. Because I do not... <clears throat> that was anticlimactic. Okay. Um, you can also shoot yourself onto vines. Which is also really nice. Again, I, I love... I love the claw shot as, as an item. It's just... One of my favorite items just because of how versatile it is. As just like a small attacking weapon. Um, more than the boomerang. Be able to like go ahead and reach places that you never really would have like been able to before so long as there's vines around even if it's like not for its intended purpose and you were just able to like reach one that was just meant for climbing like okay cool oh that was that was a little wonky okay but yeah now that i made it over here i can go through this door please get me through this door I want to look at the minimap again too like oh yeah also you don't need to use bombs to get these guys out of the water bubbles you can just um, take them out and then the water bubble just dissipates afterwards so that's also really nice I still got to use bomb arrows though to um, do what I need to get done. There we go. Shoot me up, Scotty! Well, beat me up, Scotty. I'm not a big st Star Trek guy. I'm mostly Star Wars. Star Wars trash. And, well... That's not to knock anyone who likes Star Wars. It just, I personally call myself trash because I, I've held some toxic opinions in the past and I could stand to be a little bit more um, open. This stuff. 
Okay, well... Where are you? Wow, you just don't notice me yet. You're gonna now. <laughs> creep! I'm a creep! Way to get a whole copyright uh, thing with Radiohead. That's amazing. Anyway. Oh yeah, can also do this for some reason from the vines on the walls. Um, drop down. Thank you. Okay, so this one's um, not as easy to get up, but it's very much uh, doable, especially now you have the claw shots to help. And really the whole gist of it. Oh, yeah, right. I don't need to do that anymore. Haha, <laughs> the claw shots just make things so much easier. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I just need to shoot myself up. Oh. That was a poor aim. There we go. Let go here. I eventually want to get to the point where, like, I'm just able to hit hit those guys and damage them with their own armor. Like, that? That's... Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, wow. Um, okay. That did not go the way that I intended it to. <laughs> but... Okay. And you... Gimme. More water pumps. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm gonna go over here first. Oh, jeez. They really want you in a specific place to get, get to these treasure chests. Okay, the compass, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, now the second one is activated. I do need to confirm something though, just in case that I wanted to try this. Oh. Never mind. It's gonna be a lesser drop though than the uh than the other one. I'm also gonna need to shoot myself up again. Oh crud, I'm forgetting something. I am forgetting something. Oh god, the piranhas. Don't want to, to destroy myself with the prize. Okay, now, now that's going. Okay, that's what I needed to do. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I guess the final destination that I really do need to think about is back on that lower level. Because now, with this jet going. I'm basically able to um, do something here. Okay. Uh, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. That could have been better. What's, what's down here? Uh, another red rupee. I'm so glad I got the giant wallet from from Agatha. Oh my god! Get me out of this this pit of death, please. Ugh, okay. No, I, I don't like I don't like clams. I don't I don't like those those clams. I had Chinese food recently. I had them prepared specifically without oyster sauce. 
because otherwise I, I didn't know until recently that they prepared it that way so I felt like a hypocrite because I don't like eating meat or fish at all Oh, fantastic. Bye. <laughs> well, at least that, that worked out, I guess. Um, okay, there is a treasure chest over there that I really want to make sure that I can get. And those... Yay, okay. Let go, thank you. Thank you very much. What's in here? Just another red rupee. Doesn't... Doesn't matter what size treasure chest it is. Oh dear. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to... Go out another way. Maybe from here, and then... Yeah. Okay, more of the same, more of the same, shoot that, there we go, very much, oh, no, 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 what, why the, f why were you doing that, I was pressing to the side, excuse me, you can't afford fall damage, what was that about, you knucklehead, I think that's the first time I ever used the term knucklehead in one of my videos. It just never really came naturally to me, you know? But I guess, you know, making sure that I can I can uh, expand my vocabulary. I need to read more books. Now that I think about it, I need to read more books just because, like, my, my whole idea well is running dry and it's... Maybe not the best for a commentator to do that. Oh, okay. I have one heart. I do not want to waste that. Please. Oh, what am I doing? Drink your potion. Thank you. Thankfully, I can always restock. All right. Yeah, th this is probably like I, I feel like in this this game they're they're really just overcompensating for just um They're overcompensating a little bit for like their previous attempt at a water temple. Well, at least, um, I don't know if, like, which came first. If there was a water- was there a water temple in, um, Wind Waker at all? I guess well-known example of, of a water temple. And making something relatively similar, but not really- oh! Jeez. You know what I just realized? Oh my god, what was that about? Hey, I damaged you with your own armor! I finally did it! Oh, that's cool. So, I do wonder, is there, like, any sort of treasure I should look out for on this side at all? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at the mini-map here. I don't think I'm seeing anything. 
I'm gonna look around at the bottom real quick. Hold on. Okay, so that was actually a little bit anticlimactic. That's great. But yeah, now that the water is filling up this area, it raises the bridge that is uh, currently there, so... Kansu can finally... Um, Oh, God. Nope. Not dealing with that at the moment. I'm just going to go to the ceiling, please, and then... Oh. I totally forgot about the bu the uh, the switch that is currently located underneath there. Um, I'm gonna do. No, thank you. And. Give me that rupee before it disappears, thank you. 285. Don't have to worry about the 300. Oh, nice! Oh, well, um, okay. Well, I got, I finally got a piece of heart out of that and I have seven hearts now. Okay, that's cool. It's just, wow. Um, I guess I'll, uh, I guess my uh, other place that I'm gonna have to consider is the. Um, yeah, I, I think I know what place I'm gonna have to consider next, and it's going to be like right at the tail end of. Okay. Please just go and. Please, 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 please. Okay, avoided you. That is great. Thank you for that. I need to go to the upper level of this. Ah, oh, sheesh. Hang on a sec. I think I actually know where I need to go, and it involves. Oh, yeah, this does work. This does work. Just use the boots to get to where I need to go. Awesome. Thank you very much. Because I need to go someplace. Uh, it involves going to the lower... Lower floor. No, don't do that. Please just shoot at this. Swap this around, please. Thank you. Going back to the lower part of this. There we go. That's nice. Thank you. This is where we need to go. This is where we need to go because... Yeah, these should be moving now. That's good. I'm basically going to shoot up at this. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that that was that was poor aim. I guess I'll just get on one of the rotating platforms and just uh, shoot anything that is like that down. There we go. Yeah, the keys are going to be the most annoying part about this whole section. For sure. Thankfully, I can just bonk them with a the shield and everything will be fine. There we go. Please. Oh, man. Just shoot. That's... That's amazing. I, I can't even see what I'm doing now. 
Okay, it's gonna have to be one of that. There we go! I'm just going to ride the carousel over to this side. Like a good Hylian. Like a nice little Hylian. I'm not some like random dark clone of this guy. Let go. Okay, um... That's right, okay, now, this, this segment is familiar. It's multiple levels. Okay. Hey, let me swing my sword, please. Three, four. Gotta be a horizontal slash in particular, so... Pre-Skyward Sword mechanic. Well, Skyward Sword mechanics found in uh, pre-Skyward Sword. Hmm. Yep. Okay. That's that's one of them dead. Yeah, there's nothing in particular that I really could think to do. I really just need to get over here and just grasp my bearings because this this whole place has a little it's it's a little bit of a maze. It's a little bit of a maze to get to the treasure in question. So Oh oh goodness, oh goodness. Um uh, please, um and thank you. Weigh me down and shoot at the sky at this thing. Here we go. Don't want to have to deal with that. Okay. Yep, there's nothing there. I know there is one passage. Get to where I need to go. And it's... This is the tricky part. This is the tricky part. It's actually trying to find this thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I, I need to... I need to use a... A water bomb. Hold on a sec. Oh. I guess I didn't need to. Uh, there was already a bomb fish. Didn't really need to do that. Especially with how everything else has just been progressing. So, yeah. Now that I'm in this whole section here, I can just uh, go in through this passage, I believe. Yep, this passage. And, because this is hero mode, I'm taking the safe way. Killing about, I'm killing every enemy I see from a good safe distance. Something I just got to normalize for myself because this is not, this is not my uh, childhood game that I'm playing. I'm playing a very much, uh, much a port that I don't know is questionable as to why it was ever even released. But all the same. I'm glad it was because, yeah. Oh, jeez. I gotta find a claw shot area. Oh, jeez. I I just wasted a bomb. I wasted a bomb. Did I miss the point? Hold on a sec. 
I mean, I'm not complaining. I have 377 rupees from killing these, uh, uh, jellyfish, so I'm not too worried. I'm also helping get that piece of heart from Castletown, so... I wonder if there's anything of... If I am supposed to come in over here somewhere? Oh, more water bombs. whoop de doo Oh, this is... Wow. Oh, found ya! Right at the bottom of this, this section here. Aha! Found my way out. I'm not dealing with ya. No, thank you. I just want to go over here, submerge. And... Uh, okay! Well, uh... Almost there. And just gotta do one last thing and then I'll end the video by warping out with Nuku. Uh, I thank you all for tuning into this episode. Next video, we finally take out the boss of the Lake Bed Temple. <laughs> this is so Ocean's Eleven. All right, I will see you in the next video where we take on the boss. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.